Hello everybody, uh, Black Lotus Oracle here. Excuse me, I'm eating popcorn. So, the military is going to make one last attempt on my life. At least they're going to try today. It could be within the, la the next couple of hours or just the whole day in general. And what they want to do is they want to snipe me in the head. So, a couple of days ago, as I've spoken about, um, there are fake homeless people that they situate in the airports to gang stalk me. And some of these, well, we know, the, the fake homeless people are veterans and military people. And some of them have followed me from Miami. Um, and, um... Anyways, a couple day, days ago, um, I had an encounter with one of the fake homeless people in the bathroom. I was basically just freshing up, whatever. And then the lady said, they're going to shoot you in the head. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't reply because I'm like, I already know what you're talking about. And, you know, she was like all fake homeless and stuff like that. So she said, they're going to shoot you in the head. And, and then she walked away. So, um, throughout my stay here, it's like they, that thing is so annoying. It's like they, they, situ they situated people up on the roof, uh, on the garage, right? And now they sort of they pretend to be photographers that take pictures of all the airplanes, yada, yada, yada. But really, it's like people who, military people who really clock every single thing that I do. And then they take pictures of me. And then they're like, all right, um, at this time of the day, she will sit at this terminal at this bench. This is her routine, yada, yada, yada. So... Sometimes I wave at them because I know what they're doing. And then I thought, like, hmm. I don't know. Is technology so evolved that you could put a sniper in or make a sniper look like a, like a, a camera? And then I was like, oh, I shouldn't even be sitting out here like this. Because they could easily snipe me in the head while pretending to be these photographers, right? But, um... So today... There's so many military, marines, veterans out here today. Um... And so... I was sitting outside like I usually do, and um, it's funny, every time I sit my butt down, it's this one veteran fake homeless guy that'll circle around me, like immediately right after I sit down, and then it's like other veterans that will like come around and pretend to be on the phone, pretend like they're getting picked up, or pretend like they're reading a sign how long does it take for you to read the signs it'll be like oh delta airlines or spirit airlines and they're staring at the sign for like 10 minutes straight how long does it take to read a sign you're already at the terminal you're in the terminal before i got here all of a sudden you're lost like it's so stupidly ridiculous So then they do that. Also, a couple days ago, because they study everything that I do, everything that I like, so they know I like voodoo lager, right? It's a beer. It's an IPA. So there was this couple. There was this couple outside of um, Terminal 4 Spirit Airlines. I think it was last week again. Um, 
uh, they were waiting for their flight, and then they took a, a bus out, I guess, to go buy the beer, right? And then they dropped two cans in the box into the trash. And curious as I am, I go, look. And I see, ooh, it's Voodoo Lager. I'm like, oh, my God. I love this beer. Look at that, right? So I pick up the two cans and I put it in my backpack. Next thing you know, later on that night while I'm trying to like go to sleep, prepare to go to sleep, I'm taking out my blanket and um, smell beer. I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, I feel my blanket is wet and it smells like beer. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I know the can isn't open. So I, and I inspect one of the cans and there's a hole in it. Now the hole isn't, there's nothing in my bag that can puncture the can. Like it's a needle sized puncture. You can barely see it. And so someone obviously um, placed, someone obviously like punctured the can and probably put, I don't know, arsenic or some sort of poison in the can, knowing that I would go in the trash and see, oh my God, voodoo lager, because they know like everything that I do, right? But some of them, what they do is like less inconspicuous like that was very calculating there's been times where there's like military people and veterans that will place food in the trash and sit next to the trash can for hours waiting for me to pick up the food but it's like I know they're military people because of their backpacks and what they're wearing what they look like yada so I, I just like leave the trash can alone but I'm pretty sure there's been a good amount of poisoning in a lot of the food that's in the trash mm. and there's definitely oh this week I'm pretty sure I saw Jasmine Young I want to say Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. So she was here. And then the, the day right after that, I swear, I feel like I saw her parents. And her parents were wearing blue, like a, a royal blue t-shirts and matching royal blue hats. And, um, it had these symbols, I don't know, some sort of, uh, either like like a government, secret society, either Mason or, I don't know. There's so many of these different secret societies that they're obviously in. I saw them. And <clears throat> so then I saw them, which was probably Wednesday, was the worst in regards to like gang stalking and people following everything that I do and then you know what else it was the least amount of police presence that night when like right after I want to say 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. I circled around the airport and it was only one cop car both floors right I went up the first floor and the second floor, only one sheriff or police officer on duty. The shit was crazy. Why? Because they paid the, they paid everyone to leave. It was crazy. So now, today, I don't know. Last couple of hours, it could be the last day that they have, I guess, the go to shoot me. <laughs> So, I, I took one, I'm taking two things as an almond. When I was outside, I saw a red beam, 
situated right on someone's luggage. Oh, uh, yeah. It's really interesting. I'm like, you know, there's a lot of luggages that charge phones. Like, it's like a、um, portable charger nowadays. But as soon as the woman moved her bag, the beam went away. So I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not gonna be outside today.